Ooh. There we go. This is a big fish. I can feel. Good morning guys, welcome to another episode with Real Hustle. We just showed up to a really big fish reservoir where we're gonna be going for quality, not quantity. We're hoping to even just catch one fish a piece, but big ones. Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and hopefully we can uh, accomplish our mission here. Thanks for the support, guys. All right guys, first fish of the day. Doesn't look big. No, it's a little guy. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. All right guys, so we're all set up out here. I got a jaw jacker set, and I'm just kind of staying warm in the tent, getting all my camera equipment warm, and hopefully we can start to uh, put some big fish in front of you. I've heard good things about this place, so stay tuned. All right guys, first fish of the day. Feels like a pretty decent fish. We haven't seen him yet. Hey, at least someone can do it, right? It's a big old bow. <clears throat> yeah. It's not huge, but he's definitely over 20. <clears throat> not a bad fish. There he is, guys. A nice cut bow. Probably about 20 inches. We're going to let him go next. All right guys, so I'm just posted up staying warm. I got my two jaw jackers set and it's caught two fish so far. Um, Tyler's rods have gone off four times and each time the jaw jacker had nothing on it. I think there's some smaller trout in here as well we weren't aware of, maybe they stocked it, but um, that's probably what his were and that's what my first fish was. But that last fish was pretty nice, so I'm stoked on him. Hopefully we can put a big old hog in front of you though. Today is Tyler's birthday, so I got him a little present. I'm gonna bring it to him now. Tyler, come out here. Happy birthday, mother sucker. Oh yeah. Tyler was saying he needed a new trout rod, so we hooked him up with a rod, a reel, and some jigs. Here's a birthday present for Mr. Mark. Nice piece of smoked fish. Thank you, Mr. Mark, appreciate it. This is gonna go well. All right, guys, just got another jaw jacker fish. Snowing pretty good out here, as you can see. Fish feels decent. It's hard to tell just yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like, actually, just maybe scooch in between those ones. Yeah, like right in there. I saw him once. He looked pretty similar to the last one. Maybe he doesn't know he's hooked. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Mark Armstrong jigs. Do it once again. Keep your hands tucked, Tyler, because I'm gonna need you. Keep it on more. Nice. 
this is a hot hole it seems. They should just be cruising. They shouldn't really just be sitting under any specific hole. They're just coming through there just seeing what they are. You know what on that? <laughs> That's a proper one. There he is guys, another beautiful male buck cut bow. We're gonna go ahead and let this fish go. There he goes. All right guys, so I didn't really get the slow motion or really probably the best shots of that second big fish that I caught, but he was 22 inches and probably four and a half pounds, beautiful cut bow. You can see how cold it is. I got the heater blowing in here and I'm still, so our fingers were just too cold to use the phone at the moment. So I just got a quick shot on the Nikon. Hopefully it turned out well and uh, release the fish. See what else we can get into. So these are the hot jigs. They're called Ice Fire, tied by Mr. Mark Armstrong. These ones have all caught a couple fish at least, so they're a little bit tattered. I mean, I might have caught five or six fish on each one of these jigs already. These things kill it, guys. I mean, he's been catching fish on these jigs for 30 plus years. I'm telling you, hit him up and get yourself some Ice Fire jigs. So you guys can see I'm wearing gloves now. I literally felt like I had frostbite on my pinky right here. It was kind of white and I could hardly bend it. So I toasted it up, and I think on the next fish, I'll be wearing gloves. All right, the birthday boy finally got a fish on. Did you get inside your tent for me to check? Sure. How's he feel, Tyler? He feels... Oh yeah, not, not a dink, baby. Let's go! Bleep. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Six years of fishing at this reservoir right here. I've lost many big ones on the fly. Hooked some PBs on the fly, and this is my first fish ever coming out of the water here. Hooked it through the ice, and I'm very grateful. On the birthday, too, baby. Feels good, Kyle? Yeah, he's right there. All right, guys, Kyle's onto his first good fish of the day. We saw it, looks like a nice rainbow. Yeah, I heard it click behind me, but I I didn't think there was a fish on it because it only came out or said anything. And I saw it bent over. We were, we were distracted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here he is. We came up backwards, Just trying to. All right, guys, Kyle just got this really nice female. You got him. Thanks to Benny. Tyler's brand one. new birthday rod just got smoked. Hopefully it's that big pig daddy. Oh, yeah, it feels like a good fish. It's a real good, oh, yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, baby. You hear the clink of that drag? It sounds sexy. So this is Tyler's new birthday rod that just got smoked that we've been hoping for. Shout out 13 fishing. Right here, baby. Oh yeah. Just about to move this thing. Another fat female. It's close. Super pretty fish, ladies and gents. Probably another 19 incher, I'd guess. Since 2.5, 3 pounds. Nice pink, though.
So Tyler just got those two back-to-back -back females, beautiful fish. And it's about midday. We thought it was gonna slow down, but it's kind of picking back up. So hopefully we get that big old buck nasty we're looking for. Drew me a hole. Drew me a hole right there. <laughs> Kodak's very first time ice fishing. He looks more excited than us. <laughs> Alright guys, I just cut open this vacuum seal by Mr. Mark and wow, that smoked fish is just so good every time. Nothing left but residue and bones. Tyler on the birthday rod again. Shout out 13 Fishing for making their their butts and their handles like this. And shout out Benny for the awesome birthday gift. Ooh. There we go. This is a big fish. I can feel Kyle feel this. Just hold the rock. Oh my reel gosh. on him yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I can feel that. Just yeah. reel on him a I little bit. It. It's big. Oh my god. Oh my god. This like those last three like 20 inches we pulled up just come straight up. This guy is yeah. Mine stayed down too, one of them. Yeah, oh, that's... it's it's the males maybe. Yeah. Oh. Just shovel them. Oh, Let's baby. Go. Best one yet by far. Awesome fish. Probably a good 22, 20. I'd say 22. We'll just be generous here. Pushing a nice four or five pounds. Probably easy. Big old pigged up girl. A little cold for a face shot. <laughs> Just got splashed so hard by that fish. Let's go, boys. Come here. It's a good fish. Definitely not a stalker. Oh, he's coming up. Not a big old fat female. All right guys, Kyle just got another big old female, Mr. Mark's Ice Fire Jigs. I don't know how long it's been on there. I just moved holes. And I haven't had a fish in a long time, but I just got nailed. I don't know how long my jaw jacker was just sitting. Feels like a good one. These guys have been smoking fish all around me and I've been dead silent. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Saw it for a second there. Be a buck. Oh gosh. Holy <coughs> shit. Big female. I look like a big old male, buddy. That's definitely the fish of the day. Tyler's claiming fish of the day. That thing's in water. Just 
Got a big belly. Bear hug the shit out of me. Oh my god. That's a big belly. Oh my god. Whew, my uh, that's, yeah, that's a female, but oh my god. Alright guys, just got this big old female. She's got a lot of girth to her and some pretty serious length. Stoked on that fish. We're gonna go ahead and get her back in. Eyes. Okay, so I just got that big old female. She had a pretty cool color to her and I'm stoked on that fish because it had been a while. Sounds like in about 20 minutes we want to be back at the truck, so we're going to start a slow breakdown, but we still got rods out, so it ain't over yet. So I ended up losing the audio on this clip. My microphones ran out of batteries. I didn't know it. Nonetheless, we had a lot of fun at this reservoir here. We each caught three really quality fish. We each set out to at least catch one, so we accomplished our goals. I really hope you enjoyed this episode with Real Hustle. Tyler's birthday was great. We will be back to this reservoir. Thanks for all of your support, and we'll see you guys in a couple days for another episode with Real Hustle. Mm -hmm.